Ahoy, ye mateys! Welcome back to the 54th episode of my full game walkthrough, which is also the 35th episode I am filming on my buccaneer. Last episode, we started a negotiation with the Kurgas on the Isle of Fetch, who are rebelling because they are dissatisfied with the food that the Royal Navy is giving them. So, we are currently in the process of gathering ingredients to give them a food that they prefer, and we are about to confront this gang leader called Lafitte, who has taken some of the ingredients that we need. Food ingredients are hard to come by because of the war that is going on, but the Kurgas are Marleybone's elite warriors, and Marleybone really needs them to beat back the Valencia troops. So, that's why we are on this mission. Hopefully, we will succeed and earn our Royal Navy commission. Now, oh, this is a large warehouse. I think this is the biggest board that we have been on. Uh, level 54 melee units. Interesting. Okay, well, since... They are not in range right now, we can take our time and set up some buffs. So these are members of Lafitte's gang. <laughs> and they are cats, it seems. Quite interesting. By the way, Morgan Lafitte back on Skull Island. Um, who is the swashbuckler trainer, is also a cat, so it's likely that her history has something to do with uh, Marleybone. Let's go for that one. I think on this board it makes sense to focus on one unit at a time. Take advantage of the fact that they're spread out. <laughs> Good work, Bonnie. Oh, dodged. Dodge though. All right, let's see. Can Bonnie reduce all of their dodge? Oh, now I draw this, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, I leveled my units to level 55, so they are a little bit stronger now than when you last saw them in a previous video. Burgess can now stun with Vengeance 3. Bonnie now has Quick Draw 2. Uh, and I gave Toro Repulse 3. So I reset his talents, gave him Repulse 3 and Relentless 2. This will make him a little bit tankier. Oh 
Oh man, I don't want to be chaining on that one. I should have positioned my pirate uh, to the left of those two on the other side. Alright, good. I got rid of Billy. <laughs> Also, I leveled my pet to level 70, and now it can actually grant me repost. So I have another additional trigger for this aggressive burst fire build. But I'm not sure that it's so good for PvP because burst fire can trigger quick draw and true grit. I'm not sure I want that. No yeast extract up here, Captain. Mm -hmm. Colin Cheese. <laughs> Herbert Pell. Alright, I'm gonna shield before I rush. I like that on this big board, it kind of gives you an opportunity to try this, the Highland Charge. But I also feel like it's not that necessary because the enemies will just move towards us anyway. It's not like in PvP where some types of opponents will actually wait for you to charge them and they won't charge you at all. Let's just try this anyways. It does mean that I can use one of my guaranteed critical hits next instead of a charge. A <laughs> Richie kid. sure I'm liking the repulse 3. I might switch to uh, first strike instead.
Oh, they have very high dodge. Okay, there we go. The repulse went off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this build might be worth running. to say it, but there does not appear to be any extract back here either. There's a drain over here, Captain. Looks like the cats dragged something through it. Must lead to the sewers. Oh dear. A lot of smugglers hide in the sewers. It'd be easier to keep the extract down there than in the warehouse. We better have a look, Captain. Lots of smuggler types down here. We must persuade them to tell us where that yeast went to. <laughs> persuade them. Yeah, this underground world is actually quite well designed. It's like above ground is civilized society and down here is like the criminals <laughs> and the smugglers. a rolling stone here uh, yep I see it oh this is Lafitte's lair so the next rolling stone the one that's in Lafitte's lair will be in here Fair enough. I'm afraid you won't be leaving with what you came for. You're gonna be leaving the way most things leave the sewer. Down the drain. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't like scuffling for food in this war situation, but we gotta earn our commission. Actually, we just need to go for Black Jean Lafitte. 
So... Yeah. No, I don't want to waste my chains on this guy. That was annoying. Alright, that's fine. I'll get a vengeance strike. Okay, burgers get some chains. You can bleed storm. I believe in you, Burgess. Yeah. And you have a strength buff, accuracy buff, and black gene is debuffed. Oh my goodness. Black gene does not want to die. Can you blade storm on Black Jean? Nope. <laughs> I really like Burgess's critical animation. <laughs> Okay, this guaranteed hit should finish him. Thank you, Bonnie. stone oh I found it it is here between two boxes okay so now we can talk to mr. Gilmore and he will make the food that the Kurgas need <laughs> you found all the ingredients magic give me just a moment and I'll whip up a batch of delicious well, I'll make a batch of Marley, mate. Quick as a wing. All right. Oh yeah. There you are. It's got these. Uh, well, uh, I'm sure your uh, soldier mates will, uh, you know, be able to choke it down. <laughs> as long as it's nutritious. Just take this Marley, mate, to Johnny Kirk, and it'll cure what ails them. Thank you very much, Mr. Gilmore. Oh, we got a new weapon. Slightly higher on weapon power, but I prefer my hybrid one for now. Okay, back to the Isle of Fetch to feed those soldiers. Mr. Singh, we've brought the food you requested. You have brought new food? I shall taste it. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely force it down my throat. Perfect! <laughs> the dogs of Marleybone have proven true to their words. We shall fight for them again, now that we can do so with honor. Brigadier Stuart shall be freed at once. Indeed, he shall resume his post as our honored commander. <laughs> yeah, this part of the story was really strange. Commander! The mechanicals have come in force! The invasion has come! Wow, we just stopped this uprising just in time. We 
must make haste to face our enemy. The mechanicals occupy the north of the island. We will barricade the south aisle. You go to the mechanical landing craft and destroy their signal beacon. That will delay any reinforcement. Go! Great to be fighting with you again, Mr. Singh. Look at this place! It's horrific! We did this! We set it in motion back in Puerto Rico! Yeah, unfortunately we did. Well, yeah, but it was all to get the map! We had to! Didn't we? Didn't we? Your deeds also brought Carolina back to me, and I thank you. But looking on this, I wonder, surely there must have been a better way. Who knows? There's only one thing to do. I run down the small <laughs> island and lay low till it all blows over. <laughs> no, you get. We've got to make good to set this right. We need to break the armada and save Marleybone. <laughs> you are right, my sister in arms. We cannot go back and prevent this war. So we must win it! To war, my friends! The heroes who fight their way across this battlefield will become legends. As you say, El Toro. Great! We'll have the most impressive tombstones in the cemetery. <laughs> I really love the dialogue of my companions. Um, there is a rolling stone somewhere. Yep, there it is. So that's where it was on the map. Okay. Yeah, it is really sad to see the Isle of Fetch in ruins. You don't see any civilians here either. Seems like they already evacuated. Good work, Bonnie. So I guess that mosquito noise is supposed to be the sound of their gears unwinding. <laughs> but to me it's always gonna sound like a buzzing insect noise. Very smart move to walk into my hold the line. <laughs>
Gone clockworks. has been integrated by the armada you will surrender compliance is not optional oh we'll see about that we've already got enough integrity thank you very much oh they can use gunnery that's annoying oh <laughs> What an opening. And they are pretty far away. Okay, I'm gonna do this and have my units advance. Then I'm gonna shield myself and charge. Terrace. Oh, they can do that uh, ranged attack, steely resolve. Interesting. These dragoons are an interesting mix of melee and musket. Okay, I might not have time to shield actually. I might have to just charge. Oh, they have hold the line. Um. All right, go for that guy then. Steely resolve. <clears throat> it's okay, I can revive her after this.
Hmm. Tough choices. Should I heal Bonnie or just try to finish them? You know what, Bonnie? Heal yourself. That's so annoying. Ah, that was really close though. Contraptions. Okay, I'll heal Bonnie afterwards. Let's use Barnabas instead. I calculate you must be the pirate who destroyed Beachhead. You have proven far too upsetting to the grand design. Upsetting? I thought you guys didn't have emotions. You will surrender and be taken prisoner to Cadiz. If you do not comply, you will be destroyed. These are your only options. What is your answer? My answer is no. I choose option three. Proud seeing you. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot to level him. He's 51. Whoops. <laughs> the beacon! It's on top of the mast! How do we smash it? I've got it! Turn the generator on, but only halfway. Then, if we smash the breaker boxes, it'll short itself out. Alright, Gracie. We gotta activate the beacon and defeat all the enemies. Oh, that's the beacon generator. Okay. Well, Barnabas, shield yourself, please. I don't want you dying on me. I should have separated my units. <laughs> Mortimer actually landed its his hit. Yeah, Battle Angel has high dodge. Actually, you know what, let's wait for them to come to us. That way, they will walk into my hole the line. Come forward, battle angel. Oh no, they're just gonna go for Mortimer instead. Yeah, that's annoying. Alright, well, we'll have to charge them then. I'm gonna go for this.
they have hold the line three. Yeah, that was the Armada Marine. So the Armada Marine has hold the line three. The Dragoon is like a melee that also has a ranged attack, and then the Angel is a swashbuckler. Yeah, there we go, Toro. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. A good start. Now quick, smash the breakers. Yes, Gracie.
There we go. Now they can't signal for reinforcements. Indeed. Mr. Singh, we did it. Long will the Kurgas remember what you have done for us today, Captain. Tell the admirals of the domes. We shall hold the line. I will. You're small, but you're cunning. You do my people honor, Captain. I pledge my blade to your service. Let us go and win glory together. Cool. <laughs> Baga Khan. Tiger Auxiliary. Happy to have you. Oh, he comes with Vengeance 1. Interesting. What else can he do? Vengeance. Bladestorm First Strike. Flanking. Interesting. Well, let's give him Bladestorm 2. Vengeance 2. Guess that's all he has for now. Like, he's pretty cool looking, but he only has 4 epics compared to, let's say, Burgess, who has 6, 7 epic talents as of right now. So, yeah, these quest companions usually aren't that good compared to the primary ones. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Today, we resolved the conflict between the Kurgas and their commanding officers and they agreed to fight for the dogs of Marleybone again and just in time because the Isle of Fetch came under attack and we helped them in the fight, we disabled this beacon of the armada so that they couldn't signal for reinforcements. Next episode, we will continue trying to earn the favor of the Royal Navy, tell them about our victory here, and work toward becoming a Royal Navy captain. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.